Hello and welcome. This is Sports This Morning, reaching you live from Channels Television Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. Thanks for joining me. My name is Austin Okonakwan, Action Packed World of Sports. Let's not waste any time. Let's get into the nitty gritty of what's going down in your exciting world of sports. We'll continue our What's Going On campaign in Nigeria, where we're setting the agenda for the new government. What's going on today? Weightlifting get our attention remember at the 2014 commonwealth games in glasgow nigeria won 36 medals 11 gold 11 silver and 14 bronze medals guess what weightlifting contributed seven out of that 36 weightlifting gave the country two gold medals four silver and one bronze medal sports fans since after the 2014 commonwealth games in glasgow scotland nothing has been heard of weightlifting in this country. We're going to find out what's going down with weightlifting. Leaving weightlifting now to table tennis, where, of course, we've been talking so much about table tennis, and that has brought so much joy to followers of the sports because the Federation is working so hard and the players are giving their best. But what's going on? This time around, we want to talk to the National Sports Commission. What's going on with table tennis? It's not just table tennis, all the sports struggling to play tournaments and go for championships. The junior athletes in table tennis missed out of the ITTF Africa um, Junior Championship in Mauritius just because somebody somewhere wasn't interested. Now there are talks that the, the senior team might just miss out of the World Championships in China. That's not a good one. Table tennis struggle in Nigeria. I want to talk about it and see ways that we can change this because if these athletes don't get to play regularly, they will not be in top form. Let's leave table tennis now and talk about the FA Champions League. Well, of course, I remember yesterday I told you that the fever was in town. <laughs> the drama in the FA Champions League continues. FC Porto stunned by Munich by three goals to one. And what a game it was for them. It took Chelsea's rejected Ricardo Quaresma to score two goals in 10 minutes. Now, that's football. It doesn't respect any man. Two goals in 10 minutes and then the captain of the side sealed it up. 3-1 for FC Porto. We will see what will come out of the second leg. It was the other way around when Barcelona traveled to PSG to also defeat the French champions by three goals to one. So you see, it's the UEFA Champions League. No small team. Any team can just stun any team in the UEFA Champions League. Okay, we're still counting down. Yesterday, I made a mistake. Let's get it straight. It's not 20 days, not 19. It's 16 more days to this huge fight between Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather Jr. that will take place on May 2nd in Las Vegas. Yesterday, we showed you how the money man Floyd Mayweather Jr. is getting ready for the bout. Today, we'll let you see how Manny Pacquiao is preparing for that crucial fight that will either define or redefine his boxing career. So, that's it. Let's get talking. Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather Jr., where are you putting your money? What are you talking about? We'll keep talking about this fight until we see it after we see it we we'll keep talking about it because it's a very big one for boxing but let's come back to nigeria where of course i don't like all of these issues that keeps going on in the country sports particularly when it is not football i keep saying it football is a sport it's not sports there are other sports in this country and when we give them attention just as the cricket federation president said yesterday the making plans to be big and not just big see ways they can actually you know generate revenue they are building cricket grounds in this country that can bring other countries to nigeria to play to us and that's what we're talking about the nigeria the national sports commission needs to start seeing ways to develop other sports table tennis that's one sport i keep telling you um among the most popular sports in the country it has brought glory to this country it has produced stars talented stars but table tennis keeps struggling why because the players don't get to play tournaments they don't go for championships even when they go there's a lot of plea and begging to the national sports commission remember at the lagos when i caught up with olufunke or she's seen it all she's been playing for this country since 1988 and she says it's about time we start supporting these talents Let's listen to Funke Oshonaike today. She will give us a tempo to roll, and then we will get into weightlifting, touch about red, talk about table tennis again, and then from there, we'll take it off in your exciting world of sports. Post this morning on Channel Television. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And good coaches are very, very important. And that is number one thing that is lacking 
in Nigeria right now. We don't have good coaches because we have a lot of talent. The girls are good. The boys are wonderful, you know. What about the technique? What about the tactics? That is what is lacking. And that is what I hope one day Nigeria is going to get it back together. If things continue, like, okay. let me tell you one thing for sure. My chairman, uh, uh, Honorable Anito, you know, is doing wonderfully well, but he cannot do everything all alone. We need the back of Nigeria and to Nigeria Sports Commission. They have to help us. You can see, I don't even think any of them is here today. For me, I'm not happy about it, you understand? That Lagos State Open, they are trying to do something wonderful, and none of them is here to, to represent the NSC. No, I don't like it. That is, that is the thing. I know politics is happening right now, but this is wonderful. You can see the hall. Everybody is happy. They have to come here and see for themselves and see what is going on. It's not actually staying in the office. You understand what I'm saying? I'm saying, oh, table tennis is not good. Come and see for yourself so that you will know the next thing to do. That's it. Olufunke Oshanaike, experienced Nigerian table tennis player. I told you she's been playing for this country as a junior cadet player when she in the year 1988. And she's still playing. She's seen the good, the bad, the ugly, the better side of table tennis in this country. National Sports Commission. She says, don't sit in your offices and start saying table tennis has not done this, table tennis has not done Come out and see the development going on in table tennis so we can support and then see ways. Look at players in China such as uh, Zanjike, Ma Long. They make money from table tennis to even support the economy of China. The economy of China. Table tennis. I don't want to go into tennis where you know what Serena Williams can bring to uh, America when she's playing table tennis. You know of your same boat. Just one man, Jamaican, but they make money out of the start that they have invested on. It's not just football, 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 football. Come on, guys. Let's do things to make sure that Nigeria is a sports-friendly country, not just football. We are known to be a boxing nation. Our athletics keeps dying. We need to revive these sports. We should be known for other things. We should be known with swimming. We should be known with cricket. We should also be known with table tennis. Back in the days, come on. Before the... Before independence, we've already produced heavyweight champions, world champions in boxing. So today it's just boxing. And I look for Oshanaike, you could see her, she was frustrated. She needed to say we need to do more because the talents are right there. Okay, on that note, welcome you once again to sports this morning on Channel Television. I'm smiling, we should keep smiling because I mean in sports, so it should be fun. On Channel Television, today on the program, we're still setting the agenda for sports in this country and weightlifting. We get our attention on the program today. What's your take? And of course, you know we've been doing so well in weightlifting. I told you at the Commonwealth Games, weightlifting won seven medals. I'm talking about the Glasgow Games in Scotland um, 2014. Uh, two gold silver, two gold medal, four silver and one bronze medal. Today, nothing has been heard of weightlifting since after uh, the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. We'll be part of the program. Yes, you can. On Twitter, we're channels underscore sports. And on Facebook, we're channels hyphen sports. We've been getting email messages. Keep them coming. One day, we'll make our time to read them on the program. You want to send us an email? It's sports this morning at channels tv.com. Sports this morning at channels tv.com. Um, you can be you can be part of the program um, if you want to be part of it um, that way. Uh, so that's it. Post this one on channels television wherever you are in the world watching us. Welcome you to be part of the show. Uh, but let's quickly go on this break. I want to go on this break and then when we come back, we'll try to get in touch with someone in the weightlifting federation. Um, so we can get to talk about weightlifting. And after that, we'll talk to the Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Stay with us. It's obviously you know, very challenging um, and hard for me to, to not be able to participate at the World Championships. And, and you know, I, I do accept the, the decision that USA Swimming made back early in the fall. Um, you know, but by no means do I want this to be a distraction from the team. You know, I know how hard it is to, to qualify the, for, for the team, and I know how much hard work goes into the team. Uh, and, and for me, by no way would I ever want to displace a member of that team. You know, hopefully I look forward to um, rejoining my teammates next summer. Um, you know, I guess leading into Rio, that's something that... Um, it's the first you know, time. Something that I love is, is being a part of the national team and, and especially traveling overseas. So 
uh, I look forward to hopefully having that opportunity next year. So that's it, um, Michael Phelps, um, American swimmer, um, speaking about his chances of um, participating at the 2016 Rio Olympics. Of course, you know, Michael Phelps and swimming is a champion anytime, any day. So that's it, Post this morning on Channel Television. Star Salam joins us now. So good to have you on the show. Yeah, great to be here again, Austin. Mm, um, so much to talk about. I yeah. tell you guys, the UEFA Champions League, I told you, <laughs> it's all about drama. But let's leave that for later part of the show. Uh, while we're waiting to establish contact with someone at the Weightlifting Federation, yes. let's talk about table tennis. Oh, yeah. you know, and I keep telling, we keep talking about these things that for those players to be known worldwide, they need to play games. Yeah, there, there's no doubt about that, Austin. And for we to be talking about this right now, it mm. shows us there's about to be a problem mm -hmm. um, as regards uh, our table tennis, um, uh, table tennis in the country. And um, obviously, there's a, there's a world championship to be competed for yep. uh, really soon, and we don't really know what's going on. And that's on the back of what happened recently at the IAAF Africa Senior Championship, where preparations mm. were just horrible. Yeah. And we saw we saw the results at the end of in the Egypt. day. Yeah, we saw the results. The <laughs> <of us>. That's <laughs> it. Exactly. So you can imagine what's going to be like for us now going and stepping onto a higher level. Mm. We're talking competing against the likes of China, uh, Germany, mm. and all the war, all the superpowers in tennis. And preparations is not looking. Mm. It's not looking too good. Mm. The International Table Tennis Federation has confirmed that Nigeria and 99 others. So that's that's <laughs> one big deal right there. Exactly. We're talking about 100 countries. That's what we keep saying. It's not about our country because there's no way you talk about our country that you're not saying it's from Nigeria. Yes. There's no way you talk about Rufuki or that you're not saying she's from Nigeria. Yes. So they're represented. The country, so it concerns every one of us. It concerns the big business of the National Sports Commission. Tyler, that championship yeah. will serve us on April the 26th. Mm -hmm. If That's a championship it. is going to serve up on the 26th, you want to start hearing how the how the athletes are getting ready. Exactly, Austin, exactly. And um, it's a shame that's not the case. It's a shame that's not the case because right now where we're at is we're not even sure these guys will go represent Nigeria at, at the championship. Very similar to what happened ahead of the Egypt, um, Egypt uh, games as well too. With uh, the, a lot of the players they know until the very last minute that they will be competing, competing uh, at, the, uh, at, the, at the games and it didn't really help their preparations at all, especially uh, psychologically. The same thing is happening um, again this time around and and um, uh, we always call on the authorities to do the right thing. This kind of thing shouldn't be happening at all at this stage um, mm. of our uh, sports in um Okay, this, okay. this is Omar Asa. Yeah, yes. When you look at Omar Asa, you know that Egypt, they've done so much. They've invested so much on yes. their players. And they're shining. No doubt, sir. No doubt about it. Omar Asa came again. He comes to Nigeria every time. He just comes and beats everybody blue, black. You know, and takes away all the all the money and all that. But then that's that's to show you that's that's a sign of a serious um, a serious um, sports uh, sporting for, uh, sporting policy in Egypt that is helping them churn out uh, these kind of players mm. that come into competitions fully ready and prepared. Mm. It's not the case with Nigeria now. Hopefully, um, hopefully we we'll, we'll get some good news really yeah. uh, from. From the from the federation and from the authorities that is in the national sports commission yeah. as regards this particular championship mm. because believe me okay nigeria might go there and when they get to play against the likes of china and germany it helps them improve yeah they are the skill set they yeah. might not be as good as them but competing against these guys yeah. really it's a helps lifetime experience exa exactly and it helps their career uh, progress and ultimately helps the country, uh, especially when the Olympics is just around the mm -hmm. corner as well too. So, um, well, what more can I say, Austin? <laughs> Don't say anything again. Let's just stay with the word. Hopefully, that he yeah. used to the National Sports Commission. The table tennis team needs to be at the World Championship. That um, that tournament will serve up on the 26th of this month in China and to run till May the 3rd. We have tagged this table tennis struggle.